Empress Eye, FAO's platform for animal disease information, contributes to animal disease intelligence at a global level in two ways. First, it is an integrated platform where the FAO and partners can share information, view the global animal disease situation, and extract data, maps, and graphs. This is essential for coordinated risk assessments, communications, preparedness, and early response. Second, it is a powerful tool used every day by the FAO team to track and analyze animal disease events and effectively support members in their preparedness and control activities. Empress Eye is a powerful information system that transforms information into intelligence, leading to effective actions that saves lives and livelihoods. Empress Eye is one of the most comprehensive online global animal disease event databases and it's invaluable for two reasons. One of them is actually that it brings information together from a, a range of different sources and it then allows us to perform advanced epidemiological analyses using customizable functions and risk factor layers. In the case of zoonotic diseases, which are those that uh, can be transmitted between animals and humans, FEO shares information from Empresai with our partner organizations, WHO and OIE, which is the World Organization for Animal Health. And then together we assess the risks of emerging events way before they develop into epidemics or even pandemics. And we decide if a joint response or a coordinated support is required from the three organizations. Empress Eye is one tool that makes it uh, easier to think about where the risks are and then to come up with uh, ideas of, of in relation to potential interventions. We've used Empress Eye for teaching spatial analysis courses and as part of that we needed them to show, visualize the distribution of diseases and also how those patterns changed over time and we also uh, then got them to import the data into specialized um, statistical analyses packages that allowed them to do more sophisticated spatial analyses. So we need to understand how diseases are being are moving around the world um, and, and that is where we need to have easy or effective ways of accessing disease occurrence data from around the world. And MPSI makes that relatively easy by bringing in the data from the different sources together and allows us to analyze and present or visually analyze the information and then present the, uh, the patterns of the disease across boundaries. So it's not just within the national context, but can be within a regional context, can be across the whole world. So a regular key activity that makes use of Empresai disease inf event information is undertaken by the joint OIE FAO network of expertise on animal influenza or of flu and by combining information available in Empresai and uh, OIE's WAHIS database OFLU compiles the epidemiological information on animal influenza from an animal health perspective. And this information is then used in the biannual influenza vaccine composition meeting organized by WHO for human vaccines. During this meeting, experts select virus strains that have public health relevance and uh, could even have pandemic potential. And by linking animal disease event data to corresponding genetic sequence data from these viruses, we can assess the spread of zoonotic influenza viruses in space and time, and then evaluate which animal species they affect. And before Empress I was available, this was actually very difficult to do. One had to use information from other sources and extract the XY coordinates and then import them into a specialized GIS system. With Empress I, it's, it's possible to do it uh, very quickly um, and it can be tailored in the way how we as uh, um, spatial analysts or as epidemiologists need it. And then we can use the resulting maps to communicate to decision makers, to other stakeholders, to farmers, uh, uh, what the issues are and what the concerns are in relation to disease presen presence and also potential spread. 
by early warning, by finding these outbreaks uh, fast and before they develop and spread further, we can make sure that we have targeted action ready, which at the point of development of the first outbreak is much more cost effective than when it has developed into an epidemic or pandemic already. Animal disease control is essential if we want to uh, keep the world safe. And, and that is not just about human diseases, because some of those diseases could infect humans, but it's also about the productivity of, of animals. Um, and that then is associated with the food that we're consuming, the amount of food, the price of the food, the quality of the food, and also uh, uh, animal welfare. And uh, given the, the, the high density of humans and the clustering of the human population in the world, and the movement that there is with rela in relation to, to, to um, food products and to people, there are plenty of opportunities for pathogens to spread, and that includes animal pathogens. By sharing data and by working together, we can uh, coordinate our preparedness and an effective global response to disease events. And this is obviously essential to mitigate the risk to animals, humans, but also the economy and so much more. As you can see, Empress Eye is a vital tool in the global fight against transboundary animal disease events.